ವಂದೆ ಗುರುಪದ್ವಂದ ಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಸಮನ್ವಿತ ಶ್ರೀ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ವಂದೆ ನಿಂದ ಸಹೋದಿತ ಶ್ರೀನಂದನಂದನ ವಂದೆ ರಾಧಿಕಾ ಚರಣೋದಯ ಗೋಪೀಜನ ಸಮಯುಕ್ತ ಬಿಂದಾವನ ಮನೋಹರ ವಾಂಚಾಕಲ್ಪದುರ್ವಶಿಖಿ ಪಾಸಿಂದು ಬಿವಚ ಪತಿ ಪಾವನಿಭ್ಯೋ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ಮೂಕಂ ಕರೋತಿ ವಾಚಾಲಂಪಂಗಂಘಯತು ಗಿರ ಜಿ ಪಾತಮಹಂಗ ಬಂದಿ ಪರಮಾನಂದ ಮಾಧವ ಬಿಂದಾವಿ ತುಳಸಿದೇವಿ ಪಿಯಾವಿ ಕೇಶವ ಸಚ ವಿಷ್ಣುಭಕ್ತಿಪದೇವಿ ಸತ್ಯವತ್ವೈ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ನಾರಾಯಣ ನಮಸ್ಕೃತ ನರಂಚನುರತ್ತಮ ದೇವಿ ಸರಸ್ವತಿ ವ್ಯಾಸ ತೂಜಯೋ ಮುದೇ ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕಥೋಪದೇಶ ಗೌರೀಯ ಪತ್ರಶ ಪ್ರಕಾಶನೆ ಸದಾನುರಕ್ತ ಗುರು ಭಕ್ತಿಯುಕ್ತ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಪ್ರಮದಾಕ್ಷ ಜಗೋದ್ಬರು ಧ್ಯೇಯ ಸದಾ ಪರಿಭವಗ್ನ ಭವಿಷ್ಯದೂಹಂ ತೀರ್ಥಾಸ್ಪದ ಶಿವಭಿರಂಚನು ತಂ ಶರಣ್ಯ ಭೀತಾತ್ವಿಹಂ ಪುನತಪಾಲ್ಯಭವಾಧಿಪೂತ ವಂದೇ ಮಹಾಪುರುಷ ತೇ ಚರಣಾರವಿಂದ ಯತ್ಪಾದಪಲ್ಲವನಕುಚಂದಮನಿ ಛಟಾಯ ವಿಸ್ಫುರಜೀತ ಕಿಮಿ ಗೋಧೂಷ್ವದರ್ಶಿ ಪೂರ್ಣಾನುರಾಗರ ಸುಸಾಗರ ಸಾರಮೂರ್ತಿ ಸಾರಾಧಿಕಾಮಯಿ ಕಥಿ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಶಿವಾದೈತಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವ ಸದೀ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಶಿವಾದೈತಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವ ಸದೀ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಹರಿ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರಿ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರಿ ಹರಿ ಹರೆ ರಾಮ ಹರೆ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೆ ಹರೆ ಅಜಾನುಲಂಬಿತ ಭುಜೌ ಕನಕಾಬುದಾಥು ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೈ ಕವಿತರ ಕಮಲಾಯತಾಕ್ಷ ವೀಶಾಂಬರೌ ದ್ವಿಜವರೌ ಜುಗಧಾತ್ಮಪಾಲೌ ವಂದೇ ಜಗತ್ಪ್ರಿಯಕರು ಕರುಣಾಭೂತಾರು ಹರೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೆ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೆ ರಾಮ ರಾಮ ನಮಿ ಗಂಗೆ ತವ ಪಾದ ಪಂಕಜ ಸುರಸುರೈರ್ವಂದಿತೋದಿಪರೂಪ ಭುಕ್ತಿ ಮುಕ್ತಿ ದಾಸಿ ನಿತ್ಯ ಭಾವಾನುಪೇನ ಸದನ್ನ ಗಂಗಾತರಂಗರಮಣೀಯಟಾಕಲಾಪ ಗೌರೀ ನಿರಂತರ ವಿಭೂಷೀ ತಪಾಮುಭಾಗ ನಾರಾಯಣ ಪ್ರಿಯ ಮನಂಗ ಮದಾಪುಹಾರ ವರಾನಸಿ ಪುರಪತಿ ಭಜ ವೀಶ್ವನಾಥ ಬಾಗೀಶಜುಷು ಬದನೆ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮೀರ್ಜಸ್ ಚ ಭಕ್ಷಿ ಜಸ್ತಿ ಹೃದಯ ಸಂಬಿ ಸಿಂಗಮಹಂ ಭಜೆ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 
कृष्ण कृष्ण हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे नाही अतः परम लाभ देहिनाम ब्रह्मता मिहु यतो विंदेत परमाम शांतिम नश्यति संस्कृति नाही अतः परम लाभो देहिनाम ब्रह्मता मिहु यतो विंदेत परमाम शांतिम नश्यति संस्कृति गौरीय गोष्ठी भूति ठाकुर शीला भक्ति सरस्वती गोस्वामी ठाकुर प्रभुपार जगत गुरु टोल्ड दैट दिस वर्ल्ड इज जस्ट फॉर टू डेज वी आर हेयर इन दिस मटीरियल वर्ल्ड एंड एंड वी आर वॉट वी आर फाइंडिंग ऑल द डिस्ट्रेस ऑल द अनहैपीनेस इन अवर लाइफ if we remove that anand lene ka and if we want to take that param anand isi vichar mein in this uh, in this vichar only we can't uh, uh, do hari vachan goswami thakur prabhu pad jagat guru told that only we are just staying in this material world for just two days and whatever uh, uh, distress and unhappiness comes in front of us then we have to remove it and we always want that uh, we will get happiness this kind of uh, uh, thinking is not good at all every bonded soul uh, in every bonded soul this kind of thinking is there that whatever uh, uh, temporary uh, happiness and distress we are getting we should get remove that and we can make our life successful and we can just uh, uh, we can just go in the infinity happiness but that is not possible but uh, b- because of your previous karma phal you are just getting the happiness and distress in your life this air of happiness and distress is just going on and to be uh, just uh, adjust in this busy in this it's not good all the happy happiness and uh, unhappiness it is all uh, uh, temporary which are temporary thinking it is just uh, being figured out by uh, the three modes of material nature it is not at all permanent it is temporary so whatever happiness and unhapp- unhappiness we are thinking it is it is just there uh, in past present and future it don't have any background at all it is temporary it is not at all permanent that's why jo the thing which don't have any which is not permanent at all then we it is uh, all rubbish and foolish to discuss about that uh, matter it is not at all good nahi atah param labh dehinam brahmata miho yato vindit parmam shantim nashati वॉटर बर्थ साइकल ऑफ बर्थ एंड दैथ दैट दिस साइकल ऑफ बर्थ एंड दैथ इज जस्ट गोइंग ऑन इन दिस मटीरियल वर्ल्ड इट विल जस्ट गो ऑन एंड ऑल द जीवर्स वर जस्ट टेकिंग दिस बॉडी द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट एब्सोल्यूट हैप्पीनेस फॉर देम इज वॉट वॉट इज दैट एब्सोल्यूट हैप्पीनेस दैट द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट थिंग इज दैट when they can just do naam sankirtan of uh, bhagwan shri krishna and they can get that absolute bliss in their life and at the same time they can they can just uh, and by this naam sankirtan they can just uh, win over this uh, material world so this is quite possible uh, that when you will do naam sankirtan automatically material uh, material world you will get out of that and you don't have to make an individual effort for that
this all this sansar vasana what we have inside our heart whatever there the, all the cyclo birth and death of this material world it will all just get cut uh, by just doing the aprakrit uh, naam gungan and leela of uh, uh, bhagwan by the lotus mouth of uh, kushud guru vaishnav and doing by knowing naam sankirtan and uh, the the pathway uh, shown by shri rap rup goswami path we have to follow that by this what will happen we can uh, just get established in bhagavad dharma and by following that bhagavad dharma we will definitely get krishna prema in our life which is very rare to attain which is absolutely rare to attain that we can attain just by following the upadesha amrita of shila rup goswami path by discussing by discussing the uh, updesh amrit of shila rup goswami then definitely in in ahead of our bhajan we will uh, get the instructions of gorang mahaprabhu the full adarshan acharan of gorang mahaprabhu's instruction in front of us of this there is no doubt about it and and bhagwan's naam sankirtan slowly and steadily we will definitely uh, reach that goal and we will uh, get that we will attain that and definitely these material things will uh, get cut off automatically the summary is that that here what is the actual fruit of uh, doing naam sankirtan here it is written param labh o param shanti param labh and param shanti you will get absolute bliss and absolute uh, happiness you will get absolute benefit what is that absolute benefit and what is that absolute happiness and and what is in uh, automatically in front of that what is uh, material world automatically it will get cut off the material will will get cut off automatically the tatastha shakti that all the jeevas they are actually part of tatastha shakti they are actually tatastha shakti they are just uh, uh, coming out from tatastha shakti and uh, whatever uh, when they are in that uh, tatastha uh, swarup that the most uh, when they get the uh, adhikar of that swarup shakti inside their heart the jo the jeev when uh, it is in the tatastha position every jeev Uh, is is getting his realization according to the realization he is getting he is just getting that rasa and uh, while doing bhajan slowly steadily when he will get uh, on to that uh, rasa when like uh, what in which swarup he will do uh, the nitya seva in the aparakrit jagat because every jiva has different different swarupa so tatastha shakti is a bonded soul the most important thing that it uh, important thing for jeev that is to get the uh, uh, kripa of the swarup shakti because the there are different kind of kripa that what you get from swarup shakti that but the most uh, topmost uh, uh, topmost kripa of the swarup shakti the to- topmost adhikar of the swarup shakti is he can get that chaitanya mahaprabhu already speaking about that na hampro na cha na padi na api vaishya na sutra na ham bodi na cha gya pati na vano sadiva kintu padya nikila parmanand purna mita dher gopi hartur pad gamana dasta si chaitanya mahaprabhu ne that si chaitanya mahaprabhu in the shiksha ashtakam already in the last shlok he has told that that the uh, the most unique uh, unique uh, adhikar of the swarup shakti how a jiva can get the topmost unique adhikar of the swarup shakti a jiva can get that he can get the nitya seva of krishna and in santya dasya sakhya vatsalya and madhur ras all kind of different kind of ras are uh, categorized that naam sankirtan what is the fruit of naam sankirtan it is written there already spoken here that it is param uh, is topmost benefit and topmost happiness it will give param labh aur para shanti 
एंड ही विल गेट टॉप मोस्ट हैप्पीनेस एंड टॉप मोस्ट बेनिफिट एंड अनुसंगिक एंड इन साइमल्टेनियसली दैट मटीरियल वर्ल्ड विल डेफिनेटली कट ऑफ फॉर सेपरेटली वी डोंट हैव टू थिंक अबाउट दैट द तटस्थ स्थानीय जीव दो पार्ट ऑफ तटस्थ शक्ति दे कैन गेट द टॉप मोस्ट बेनिफिट बाई डूइंग द नाम संकीर्तन दे कैन गेट द टॉप मोस्ट कृपा अधिकार ऑफ स्वरूप शक्ति बाई नाम संकीर्तन महाप्रभु हैज ऑलरेडी गिवन दिस उपदेश Everything is uh, there in the Nam Sankirtan. Everything can be attained by Nam Sankirtan. Only Kevala Bhakti. By Kevala Bhakti, everything can be attained. Only by uh, Vishuddha Bhakti on the lotus feet of Sri Krishna. It is all uh, this sadhan is possible by Kevala Bhakti only. to get bhakti that is the top most uh, that is the bottom, top most benefit uh, is considered for the jiva when they can get bhakti brahmatani ho yato vindit paramam shanti nashati sanshati savai pungsham paro dharmo yato bhakti radhakshaye ahit ke apratyata jayatma su prasidha the absolute bhajan for the jiva is uh, or can only be done by kevala bhakti that is a top most dharma for jiva to do kevala bhakti to get shelter of kevala bhakti that in order to uh, do bhakti on that adhoksha vastu that is called kevala bhakti that is when there is no reason for that that why we are doing it there is no reason there is no uh, greediness no then there is no laziness uh, we will or uh, we have already discussed about this point previously as well the parartha parata and swar parartha parata swarth parata ni swarth parata all i have done previously in the previous harikathas savai pungsham paro dharmo yato bhakti rasakshaje शावई पुंशाम परो धर्म यतो भक्ति रहक्षय अहितु की अप्रतियता जयात्मा सु प्रसिद्ध आत्मा का सुप्रसन्न द एक्चुअल द एक्चुअल हैप्पीनेस ऑफ द आत्मा ये सेवा के द्वारा इज ओनली डन बाय इज ओनली वी कैन गेट बाय सर्विंग मोर टुवर्ड्स भागवत धर्म दैट दिस जैव धर्म इज आत्म धर्म भागवत धर्म इज आत्म धर्म पर्यायवाची ऑल All they are Pariyavarchi Shabda, and in Shri Mad Bhagwati Mahaprabhu in eleventh canto, Bhagwan already speaking to Uddhav Ji Maharaj that that for all the jivas, for every jivatma, the the when they will get the absolute benefit in their life that. to get my uttama bhakti to get the uh, uttama bhakti of on to my lotus feet is the top most benefit for that jivatma ye sabse bada labh hai ye bhagavat bhakti that bhagavat bhakti jab when uttama bhakti bol ke vichar kiya when we can understand by uttama bhakti then we can get param the uh, param benefit that we can get parama bhakti that is accurate to get when we will get that uttama bhakti that is the absolute benefit then we can't can't speak param labh that absolute bhakti parama bhakti that nirguna bhakti that kevala bhakti is uh, the top most that is called uttama bhakti uttama means top most that is why bhakti is called top most lekin ye bhakti ka raste mein but it is it is uh, crore times in bhagwat bhakti there are lot of ups and downs in uh, bhagwat bhakti in the pathway of bhakti bhagwat 
भगवत भक्ति इज द टॉप मोस्ट थिंक एंड एंड भगवत भक्ति भगवत भक्ति मीन्स टॉप मोस्ट बेनिफिट एंड दैट इज दैट इज दिस इज द दिस इज एक्चुअली कॉल्ड रागनों का भजन दैट इज कंपेयर्ड विद रागन इट इज इट सेल्फ रागनों का भजन वेर यू विल गेट दैट अपराकृत प्रज प्रेम by this it is indicated here that for every jiva braj prem aprakrit that which is very rare to attain which is uh, very rare to attain that braj prem that uh, raganuga bhakti is very rare to attain this is not a very simple thing to get then prabhupad always used to speak that that all the people who are sahajiyas दोज हु हैवन स्टार्टेड देयर भजन देयर कंडीशन इज मोर बेटर देन दैम बिकॉज सहजिया इज एक्चुअली दे आर ऑल ऑलरेडी गोइंग ऑन द नेगेटिव पाथवे ऑफ देयर ओन जस्ट बी केयरफुल प्रभुपात ऑलवेज स्पीकिंग दोज हु हैवन स्टार्टेड देयर भजन मे बी दे कैन स्टार्ट टूडे और टूमारो बट दोज हु आर डूइंग नेगेटिव भजन दे आर गोइंग देयर ओन पाथवे ऑपोजिट वे then their condition is more worse than them because they are going the negative path way that's why their condition is more severe and worst so if you can ask then uh, it is very difficult to understand this point jivatma the absolute happiness what a jivatma can get I have already spoken about that Bhagavad Shloka. The actual happiness, the perfect, complete uh, happiness of uh, uh, the Jivatma, there will be no distress in his life. He will be feeling uh, absolute happiness in his life. So the absolute happiness of the Atma is uh, to get uh, the Bhakti. of on the lotus feet of shri krishna in general in general vaidhi bhakti vaidhi bhakti ka bare mein vaidhi bhakti uh, you should uh, know about vaidhi bhakti what it is uh, naturally you should know when when you get uh, vaidhi bhakti वाक्ति वैदि व्यक्ति इज ऑल्सो गिविंग टॉप मोस्ट हैप्पीनेस बट वाई दे आर यूजिंग दैट परमा शब्द दैट टॉप मोस्ट इट इज एक्चुअली रिलेटेड विद ऑल दो रागानुगा भक्ति दैट यू विल गेट द एब्सोल्यूट डिवोशन दैट यू विल गेट द एब्सोल्यूट सेवा इट इज अंडरलाइन देयर सो इन अंडरस्टैंडिंग दैट यू कांट गेट मिसलेड बाय दैट इन द उपनिषेद इट इज रिटर्न those who are actually worshiping avidya jo avidya ka upasana kare those who are worshiping avidya their condition is very worst why because and those who those who are just following ati vidya uh, this i will uh, this uh, on this topic i will uh, uh, speak tomorrow avidya means uh, when they will follow avidya then definitely amangal will come in their life of this there is no doubt nobody can stop but those who are worshiping avidya ati vidya ati vidya who are following they are more worst than that they have a more worst case that's why it is written that by the lotus mouth of pure guru vaishnav if we just uh, uh, get the ch- vichar dhara siddhant vichar of bhakti now we can uh, just uh, see in the writing now already all guru varg are in the nitya jagat this kantiki uh, bhakti is uh, ku vidya that uh, uh, by just uh, 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 that is overnight gopi you can become 
this kind this kind of vidya is called ati vidya so just by discussing it the condition will become more worse in navar bhajan that why prabhupada that's why prabhupada used to speak that those who are sahajiyas their condition is more severe more worst than those persons who haven't started their bhajan their condition is also worst but those sahajiyas their condition those who are doing negative bhajan sahajiya bhajan their condition will be more worst those who are just uh, cutting those who are just destroying the others in acharan and instructions of gorang mahaprabhu their uh, will be more severe punishment for them for those persons so jivatma so the absolute happiness what the jivatma get is that is called shanti and when atma will get uh, benefit when they will get shanti their absolute happiness for the atma is what when they will get bhakti in bhagavad ji mahapurana it is written already in the first uh, canto uh, second chapter of the first canto in uh, normally only it, by uh, sadhana bhakti uh, absolute happiness will get inside your heart so when you will get absolute shanti absolute happiness when you will get only by taking rasa only by achieving that rasa absolute shanti can be attained otherwise not absolute shanti means by by the word uh, you can actually attain shri krishna whatever is uh, uh, what is our, whatever is uh, connected to krishna if you get the taste of that rasa then you will get that parama bhakti inside your heart that is called param para shakti the parama bhakti that then you can do the rasmai seva of bhagwan uh, by just getting into deep into the different rasas of krishna that is called absolute uh, param shanti for uh, ajivatma so in now so in this kaliyug now where bhagwan actually shri krishna chaitanya mahaprabhu uh, shri naam sankirtan what is the fruit of that naam sankirtan so if someone uh, wants to speak that uh, the the fruit of uh, 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 doing naam sankirtan is to go to vaikunth and to uh, get bhakti that is it is an in general term but if we get an in depth analysis about this that to get vaikunth uh, to get uh, vaikunth chaitanya mahaprabhu whatever he has uh, instructed us that uh, to do naam sankirtan it is in this what is the absolute absolute uh, fruit of uh, naam sankirtan is to get uh, raganuga bhajan to get aprakrit brajras of this out of this there is no absolute thing apart from this thing so you will get absolute happiness how when you will get it it is naturally present in uh, the person when he will uh, attain that aprakrit brajras and in uh, naturally uh, naturally this by doing bhagavat bhakti Uh, we will uh, definitely uh, automatically will cut uh, uh, this cycle of birth and death and we will get out of this material world definitely of this separately you don't have to do anything for that so braj prem means so how to so that parama bhakti that para shanti that absolute happiness absolute shanti this braj prem actually aprakrit braj prem so when that material relationship will uh, uh, definitely cut off of if there is no doubt definitely automatically it will get cut off uh, previously also we have already discussed about this point that that shila rup go swami pad already told us in his upadesh amrit that how you have to slowly and steadily uh, shubh goswami has just uh, uh, given us a ray of reflection of light how what is actually shuddha bhakti previously mahaprabhu ji 
वॉट इज द सिम्टम ऑफ दिस गोस्वामीज दोज हु आर आउट ऑफ दिस मटीरियल वर्ल्ड एंड दे आर इन दैट एब्सोल्यूट प्रेमानंद ऑफ श्री कृष्ण दोज महापुरुष वॉट इज द सिम्टम ऑफ दोज गोस्वामीज एंड इन विच कंडीशन वी हैव टू वी कैन अंडरस्टैंड दैट हु इज गोस्वामी एंड वी कैन गेट दैट एब्सोल्यूट आनंद इन साइड अवर लाइफ then what is uh, what we don't need to uh, do uh, and what we need to uh, do for bhakti and what we don't need to take for bhakti then how to do sadhu sang this uh, rup goswami pad has shown us how we can get that absolute anand everything rup goswami pad in his upadesh amrit has taught us so so krishna bhakti ka Uh, that uh, the topmost uh, thing it is germinated that 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 is actually sadhu sang to get krishna bhakti means to get sadhu sang and to get krishna bhakti and everything when you get when you will uh, leave this body then there also you have to do association of sadhu because that is the glorification of sadhu sang All those bhakto. To do different kind of sang with different different karan, different different uh, bhaktas. That is uh, to attain uh, shuddha bhakti in life. These are the different different kinds of sadhana. One mahapurush, if you are uh, those who are uh, already busy in rasamay bhajan, and uh, and by the kripa of them. everything we can attain in our life by the by their kripa everything we can attain in life by the kripa of rasik bhakts nothing will stay in our life which we can't attain je sam sansmaranat pungsham satho shuddhanti vai griha kim punah tad darshan sparsho pad saucha sanadivi इन श्रीमद भागवत जी महापुराण इट इज रिटर्न इट इज ऑलरेडी टोल्ड इन द मॉर्निंग वेन यू गेट अप ऑल द वैष्णव वॉट एवर नेम्स यू कैन रिसाइट यू हैव टू रिसाइट ऑल द नेम्स ऑफ द वैष्णव एंड यू हैव टू डू द डंडवत प्रणाम दिस ऑलरेडी शोन बाई हगुनाथ दास गोस्वामी बुटवर्स इफ यू कैन डू और नॉट डू इट्स ऑल योर चॉइस but if you want to do bhajan then you have to recite all the names because there is no other way there is no other alternative there if there is any other alternative then you can do otherwise no but you have to come on this uh, route shuddhanti vai griha king punat darshano sparsho ho pad sauchasana divi jesham sansmarana pungsham satyo shuddhanti vai griha सुखदेव गोस्वामी पाद सुखदेव ऑलरेडी स्पीकिंग टू परीक्षित महाराज अबाउट दिस पॉइंट एंड इन द मेन टाइम परीक्षित महाराज एक्चुअली इज टेलिंग टू सुखदेव गोस्वामी सो मच tremendous tremendous faith have uh, that sukhdev uh, parikshit maharaj have on sukhdev goswami that is the actual foundation of uh, bhajan life that how much uh, f- uh, firm faith we have on to lotus feet of gopi or guru vaishnav sukhdev goswami pad actually here uh, when parikshit maharaj is asking to sukhdev goswami pad shabdah shuddhanti vai griha king punar darshan दैट वॉट टू स्पीक ऑफ दैट परीक्षित महाराज ऑलरेडी स्पीकिंग टू सुखदेव गोस्वामी टू हिस्स परम गुरु सुखदेव गोस्वामी पाद ही स्पीकिंग दैट दैट साधु those who are actually those who are actually taking uh, always remembering the lotus feet of uh, uh, a prakrit uh, pure guru vaishnav sadhus 
लाइक सचिद शीला सचिद अनंत भक्ति मंडल शीला भक्ति सरस्वती गोस्वामी ठाकुर प्रभुपात परम पूज केशव गोस्वामी महाराज श्रीधर गोस्वामी भक्ति पूरी गोस्वामी महाराज दे आर ऑल एक्चुअली आवर ऑब्जेक्ट ऑफ वर्शिप दे आर वाई दे आर ऑब्जेक्ट ऑफ वर्शिप वाई टू ऑब्जेक्ट ऑफ रिमेम्बरेंस बिकॉज वॉट एवर वी वॉन्ट टू डू इन द होल डे वी एवरी थिंग इज डन बाय विल बी डन बाय कृष्ण ओनली ऑफ दिस इन वील गेट एब्सोल्यूट हैप्पीनेस इफ वी विल जस्ट रिमेंबर द प्योर गुरु वैष्णव इन अवर फ्रॉम होल डे Definitely will get Mangal in life. Absolute shanti and absolute happiness will get. Because different kind of difficulties will come in our life because we can't do bhajan because that will worsen our condition. But without Hari bhajan, there is nothing else. We have to do Hari bhajan only, and we have to go. To today or tomorrow, definitely I have to go at any moment. Every person. Uh, every person wants his material benefit they want material improvements in their life they are always thinking of that always thinking of these things that how we can get material benefits and how we can secure our life materially like life insurance is there like for uh, educational insurance for our child and uh, we have that for marriage insurance as well so whatever uh, money we have uh, done for marriage so all those persons who are thinking like this they are always thinking about their future what those all kind of insurance they are doing actually they are thinking of their insurance and all kind of donations etc they are doing they are always thinking of their future that maharaj something can be done in our future then we can uh, uh, by this way we can uh, get out of this material world but they don't know this thing that uh, whatever security and maintenance and accommodation and all those insurance we have just uh, wanted to secure my life 100% this kind of uh, things they are uh, arranging they don't know that uh, even one single penny also they don't have to they can't give security to us because this money will uh, is having no money and no value and this will not give us security when uh, that is transcendental aprakrit jagat transcendental uh, treasure when transcendental treasure we will uh, collect it and when we will be just uh, busy in collecting that aprakrit uh, transcendental treasure hum ikattha karne mein kamyab hain successful ho jayenge tab when we'll be successful in that then i will be the topmost uh, uh, topmost intelligent person before that i am not at all intelligent i am just uh, uh, unintelligent manisha cha manishinam इंटेलिजेंट दैट इज द टॉप मोस्ट इंटेलिजेंट पर्सन so all of all the rishis of all the rishis the top most rishi uh, is uh, meant for that, that person when he can understand that this temporary uh, world is nothing and he is just thinking of that uh, transcendental world which is always permanent and he is always uh, busy in collecting uh, that nectar of transcendental world then he is the top most of all the intelligent person and top most of all the rishis and and he can understand that man is mortal then by this uh, body which is like corps how to get out of this and how we can get to that transcendental world and uh, we are just uh, collecting uh, that transcendental uh, aprakrit rasa in this uh, mortal uh, mortal body that is a top most intelligent person who is just busy in collecting that transcendental rasa but actually this maya devi Uh, is uh, arranging the opposite Maya things for us because that is the arrangement of maya devi for us that is the chakra of maya devi that is the actual uh, 
अरेंजमेंट ऑफ माया देवी दैट दिस काइंड ऑफ थिंकिंग इज नॉट कमिंग इन साइड एनी पर्सन दैट वी आर डूइंग एवरीथिंग फॉर माय चाइल्ड मदर फादर बट व्हाट अबाउट मी वॉट इज़ माई डिपॉजिट वॉट इज माई आई हैव डन लाइफ इंश्योरेंस दिस दैट कार इंश्योरेंस एवरी काइंड ऑफ इंश्योरेंस आई हैव डन चाइल्ड एजुकेशनल इंश्योरेंस एंड माई सिस्टर माई मैरिज ऑफ माई डॉटर इंश्योरेंस दिस दैट बट वॉट इज माई इंश्योरेंस आई हैव डन एनी इंश्योरेंस नो आई हैव नॉट डन एनी इंश्योरेंस अपटिल नाउ ऑल्सो वेन दोज हु आर इन द भजन लाइफ ऑल्जे दोज हु आर जस्ट सेंग दैट दे आर रागनु का रूपानु का भक्त they are actually not having deposited anything for themselves as well if they can carefully understand the the commentary of updesh uh, amrit of shila prabhupad bhakti sanat saraswati thakur if they can uh, hear that carefully then if they don't have any aparad inside their heart but if there is aparad then their consciousness realization power will definitely drop so if they don't have aparad then it's okay but in bonded condition but if they have aparad inside their heart then their consciousness level will definitely drop down and down and it's very difficult for them to understand prabhupad ji also speaking like uh, at the bank of radha kund in uh, kunj bihari mat uh, he just uh, sat sit there and has given uh, the commentary on updesh amrit in the kartik month and it is very beautiful and uh, by this only shila prabhupad ji used to speak uh, under the guidance of rup goswami pad is speaking he already has uh, 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 told us that how to do anugatya that uh, i am the i am the shishya of uh, gurudev and the main thing is that after you have become the disciple of the gurudev you are taking the siddhant vichar of gurudev or you are going on the pathway what the gurudev has told you so that is the actual result of the shastra the summary of shastra what uh, prabhupad has told that you have to get the adarsha uh, vichar acharan that is actually when it is there inside the heart of the disciple then in toto it is there then we can understand that he, he is sanik shishya otherwise those you, you are taking all la puja pratishta it is it doesn't mean that you are the sanik shishya you are not a disciple of your gurudev it will not make sure that you are a disciple of your gurudev it is not possible at all guru varg have already told us about this thing that श्रुति स्मृति पुराण एंड एंड एट इन द लास्ट श्री नरोत्तम ठाकुर हैज ऑलरेडी रिटर्न वॉट द पाथवे शोन बाय श्री नरोत्तम दास ठाकुर दैट ऑल दिस वी वी हैव टू हारमोनाइज ईच एंड एवरीथिंग If we will not, if we are failure to harmonize these things, then our bhajan will go in in water only. Shruti, Smriti, Puran, and and in the in the Shrod Pantha, we have to harmonize them. All we have to harmonize in the way of Shrod Pantha. and we have to get established in shrod pantha and we have to understand our gurudev is in shrod pantha has established themselves in shrod pantha and we have to and in the parampara dhara uh, all that aprakrit power all the instructions adarsh acharan etiquette is coming to us through gorang mahaprabhu all that bhakti is intact way it is coming that uh, confidence should be there that to have confidence on that parampara that is called the confidence on parampara Why? Because if we don't have any confidence on our parampara, on our guru varg, then on guru veshna, which are our life and soul, then uh, the instructions of Gorang Mahaprabhu all has gone uh, faded. If we are have getting this confidence, then in in my life we will not get any support. We can understand that we have no support in our life apart from them, apart from Guru Vishnu. If the Siddhant Vichar, Guru Vani, and Shrod Pantha, Godiyamat, everything, we should we have full confidence on it. Then definitely in our near future, then what is our actual rahasya? What is our actual sorrow that will uh, get uh, sorted out? Otherwise, not.
दैट्स वाई श्रुति श्रुति पुराण पुराण आदि में जो अनुपनिषेद वेदांत एवरीथिंग विदाउट विचार विच वॉट इज द एक्चुअल रिजल्ट ऑफ द पंचरात्र वॉट इज द एक्चुअल विचार ऑफ द पंचरात्र एंड वॉट इज द विचार ऑफ श्रीमद भागवत जी मा महाप्रभु ऑलरेडी टोल्ड दैट इट इज द सेम दैट सिद्धांत विचार ऑफ पंचरात्र एंड द भागवतम इट इज ऑल द सेम देर इज नो डिफरेंस बिटवीन दैट That uh, to uh, just going on their individual pathway and just not uh, following the vidhi, then they are showing that that is called utpat. They are just following their own pathway. That is not good. This is not hari bhajan. So to have confidence on our uh, uh, sampraday and to have a full faith on one of our uh, uh, sampraday. and to just need to hear uh, uh, shri geeta shri geeta upanishad and to hear upadesh amrit shiksha ashtakam manu shiksha all under the guidance of the commentary of shila prabhupad bhakti sansh rasway thakur we have to go ahead in our bhajan life and we have to get that uh, get into that situation where we can get uh, we can understand we can understand what is rupanugraha karun ka bhajan परीक्षित महाराज ऑलरेडी स्पीकिंग टू सुखदेव को स्वयं बात एंड ही स्पीकिंग विद हम्बल मूड दैट गुरुदेव दैट दो लाइक यू हु आर ऑल एक्साइटेड डिवोटीज प्योर बाई जस्ट रिमेंबरिंग योर लोटस फीट ओनली वॉट टू स्पीक ऑफ अदर थिंग्स वी जस्ट गेट प्योरिफाइड बाई दैट ऑल दो प्योर गुरु वैष्णव जस्ट बाई रिमेंबरिंग दैम एवरी थिंग इन अवर लाइफ वी आवर 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 हाउस आवर एवरी वन बिकम्स प्योर जस्ट बाई योर बाई दे रिमेंबरेंस जस्ट बाई योर रिमेंबरेंस ऑल एवरी थिंग इन अवर लाइफ एवरी होल एटमोसफेयर बिकम्स प्योर वाई बिकॉज बिकॉज महाप्रभु हैज ऑलरेडी टोल्ड दिस पॉइंट ग्रेहो मीन्स गृहिणी गृहिणी मीन्स योर वाइफ योर चाइल्ड एंड एवरी थिंग इफ देर इज नो गृहिणी देन वॉट इज द यूज ऑफ ग्रह महाप्रभु ऑलरेडी टोल्ड दिस पॉइंट दैट इफ देर इज गृहिणी देन ग्रह ग्रह इज पॉसिबल इफ देर इज नो वाइफ देन वॉट यूज ऑफ दैट गृहस्थ ग्रह महाप्रभु ऑलरेडी टोल्ड दिस पॉइंट those sadhus those pure guru vaishnav by whose remembrance everything whole atmosphere become pure even our house house our wife our child everyone becomes pure that is those exalted topmost guru vaishnav by their remembrance and by their by getting the lotus feet on our head only then only uh, what uh, benefit we can get that we can't uh, estimate what estimation uh, there no estimation about this what benefit top most benefit we can get immediately what benefit we can get we can't understand that like param puja ba shri dhir ko swami maharaj if we, if they can come to my goshala then automatically that all uh, for every corner of the goshala will become pure it is already written where where there is uh, all the surrounding situations of that uh, uh, all the insects and everything will get purified if that uh, uh, topmost uh, uh, sadhu is present there it is not spoken by me it is actually spoken by pralad maharaj ji that if uh, all the even the insect or small small insects are there in our house or in the bhajan kutir or in the goshala it is present then by hari katha they they can uh, get purified pralad maharaj speaking this point puyante op kikota ha kikota kikota ghar mein in the house whether there is lizard where cockroach whosoever is there if they are just vibrate by the vibration of hari katha they will get purified all those small insects will become purified everything they will get the topmost mangal e mahan siddhi 
so this is called the actual absolute priti uh, they are just all those pure guru vaishnava are giving uh, it to us and what they can't they can't do and they, what they can't do they can do anything just by their uh, just by their association we can get everything so when we are just uh, we are just taking the uh, remembrance of the lotus feet and we are just taking the lotus feet on their head and just by remembering them and just by uh, when uh, two words or shlokas we are just taking uh, it out from their lotus mouth it is uh, definitely we'll get mangal in our life so jeev ko swami pad already speaking one point jeev ko se pad ji ne shila jeev ko swami pad in bhakti sandarbh he is writing jeev ko se pad ji ne bhakti sandarbh mein Uh, he has done uh, he has told us about the uh, importance of uh, sadhu sang he has just made it in detailed information about that shila ji ko swami pad has uh, in bhakti sandarbh has given us the detailed information about sadhu sang <laughs> in distinct form very different different categories he has discussed like i have already uh, already discussed about one shloka what is that shloka ब्लेसिंग ऑफ गुरुदेव वी हैव टू ऑलवेज अंडरस्टैंड वन थिंग that there should not be any objection in between guru seva so that i should not do any kind of lagu seva any kind of maya seva we have to carefully concentrate on that and then we have to we have to serve pure guru vishnu that is the absolute anand absolute benefit guru vaat gaya to sevan avirudhena cha annesham opi vishnama nam shevanam sreya acha mangal daya that is the top most mangal but still we have to understand one point very carefully that there are lot of persons who are questioning me this that maharaj i have done already done sadhu sang where i have actually uh, went to uh, which place uh, i went to haridwar and there i stayed there and i lot of sadhus were there are what kind of sadhus this sadhu i have went uh, this sadhu this sampradaya sadhu i went okay you have gone to uh, if that if he is sadhu if i can uh, i know about him and i know some sadhu there like ramayani baba he is he is from the ramanand sampradaya he, there is one uh, ramanand sampradaya also one sadhu is there there are a lot of uh, ramanandi coming from the ramanuj sampradaya only they said that they are one but they are not one they are totally different from each other ramanuj sampradaya vichar and ramanand sampradaya vichar is different from each other because the vichar of ramanuj charya is very different from ramanand this vichar so let okay no problem uh, they have come from that source only so the point is that if uh, someone uh, wants to take the ramanujacharya siddhant vichar if there is uh, no default in that that is good only but if someone wants that uh, in the ramanuja sampradaya if they have done the sadhu sang in the ramanuja sampradaya and uh, so madhvacharya it is already linked with that sampradaya and nimbar sampradaya is there vishnu swami sampradaya is there if if, uh, if there is uh, one exalted sadhu in that sampradaya then you can do that sang but be careful about one point rup go swami pad has told about this point that if uh, if in our bhajan we are we if we just want to accomplish uh, uh, rapid improvement in our bhajan and if we want that absolute mangal in our bhajan then uh, it is uh, best that it is best shila goswami goswami satobare it is hun- more 100 times better it is better 100 times better that if you take the association of the sadhu in your own sampradaya if you do the association of an exalted sadhu in your own sampradaya then in this what will happen then you will get the absolute meaning of the sadhu sang 
then you will definitely get rapid improvement in your bhajan otherwise when you will go to the other sampradaya sadhu it is not uh, prohibited but still we will we will not uh, uh, get the how to rectify ourselves we can rectify ourselves definitely but uh, whatever we will get in our own sampradaya that sadhu exalted sadhu then uh, we can't get that absolute benefit from the other sampradayas like ramanuja sampradaya or vishnu swami sampradaya it is to good to rectify ourselves but uh, in for our bhajan for our own bhajan if we want to get rapid improvement in our own bhajan then uh, to do the uh, top mode exalted it is 100% more beneficial to get the sadhu sang in our own sampradaya then we 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 can get two things one sadhu sang is already there and we our uh, sa- uh, sampradaya uh, progress will go up Shila Jeev Goswami Pad has uh, uh, already described about the Sadhu Sangh. That what actually is Sadhu Sangh, it, he uh, already discussed in Bhakti Sandar. I will just uh, uh, be explaining it in few words. That those Siddh Bhakta, what do you mean by Siddh Bhakta? Siddh Bhakta means, means, what is the meaning of Siddh Bhakt? That those, uh, those Bhakt who don't have any uh, uh, material conception and those uh, Rajo Sato Tamagun, all those three modes of material nature are not doing any reaction on them. That is called Siddh. But still, Siddh have an in-depth meaning as well. Srila Jeev Goswami Pad has told that Siddh Bhakt are those, uh, those, there are three kind of Siddh Bhakt. Jeev Goswami Pad has already told about this point that uh, they are categorized in three different categories. Shuddha Bhakts are categorized in three different categories. One is Murchit Kasai, second is Vidhavut Kasai, third is, third, third is Prapto Parshad Deho. Preliminary Siddhi, Preliminary Siddhi, uh, preliminary Siddh means that those of, uh, on whom all the material modes of nature are not doing any reaction. But in actual, uh, this is not an actual meaning of Siddha. Because after uh, leaving uh, Prakriti, after leaving material mode, what he is doing? If he is not getting any reaction of the material nature, three modes of material nature, like Mayavadi also, he has just uh, win over uh, uh, Maya Devi temporary. Because Ma- Bhagavad Ji Mahapuran already speaking this point that this is not, this is not, this is not, that and asat. Like this is there, this is not there, this is there, this is not there. So by doing this kind of vichar, he can uh, go to the reverse direction. Oh, this is, this I don't want, I want this. So by this, uh, our uh, hairs will become white just by uh, thinking like that. So only after that he can realize a bit about Brahm. But in Bhagavad Gita Mahaprabhu it is uh, uh, strictly avoided. Brahma ji already actually who is who is our previous Guru Varg, he already speaking, he is already prohibiting this point. That that to get the to understand the Leela, Naam, Parikar, Vaisheshta, uh, the Prasad, if we, uh, if we don't understand it, that it is eternal, it is permanent, then it is very difficult uh, for him to understand that Adya Gyan Tat. Then it is, uh, this uh, actually is 100% uh, sure that Prabhupada already speaking about this point. <clears throat> that all okay they have already have uh, 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 won maya but it is actually related to his own interest by winning maya so what is the satisfaction for bhagwan if you have done already uh, victory over bhagwan if you have already uh, done victory over bhagwan then uh, what is the satisfaction of bhagwan what bhagwan is getting you have done any seva for bhagwan or not 
Maya Jaya, but you have uh, uh, done victory over Maya. What is that? It is nothing. Prabhupada already spoken that to win over Maya, after that what you are doing? You are doing any some kind of seva or not? Because to win over Maya, he can become Mayavadi as well. Because he don't have any trust in seva, how to do seva. So this is not a big factor. This is not a big point. So Prabhupada actually, according to Siddhant Vijayar of Siddhant Vijayar of Prabhupada, Siddh Mahatma is that who, uh, apart from Bhagavad Bhajan, he don't believe in anything. His heart is just uh, not going towards other things. He just want to do Bhagavad Seva. He always want to serve Bhagavan from body, speech and mind. Whose heart is just stick uh, to Seva. That is called uh, actual uh, Siddha. If in between he is uh, actually like uh, the case, like I'll give one example, like a needle, where there is North Pole and South Pole in it, if you will uh, just uh, uh, reverse it, then it will become scattered. If a magnet will uh, come in front of uh, that needle, then it will become scattered. So sometimes, uh, uh, Siddha Mahatma are of three categories. Uh, Siddha Mahatma Goswami already told, Murchit Kasai. Sek- yeah, first one is Murchita Kasai. Kasai, you already know. Kasai, I'll just give one example. That uh, uh, you understand there is uh, in one glass. That in one patra or in one glass, there uh, you have uh, uh, taken tea in that uh, flask for a very long time. And you are just uh, washing it with the normal water and just keeping it. And after taking tea and you can see that uh, the pot in which you are just cooking tea, there is something uh, red marking on that. That you know there is no tea there inside it, but still you can see that uh, the condition of that uh, patra uh, becomes that uh, red. It is called kasai. Like the case of Naraji, you can already remember before that they have, when the Naraji was in Sadhan Siddha stage, there is Nitya Siddha Naraj and Nar- Sadhan Siddha Naraj. I have already discussed about this point about Naraji that uh, when Naraji Maharaj, when uh, her mother died and uh, when uh, he got just got uh, uh, free from material uh, m- miseries, and he is just going towards the jungles by just uh, uh, putting off all the thorns and all in the dense jungle when he was going and just uh, coming in front of the water and just taking a, a bath and after taking some water he just uh, uh, sat be, uh, be in uh, he is just uh, taking some support of one tree and just uh, sitting in uh, in uh, in front of the tree and he was just thinking of uh, Bhagavan Sri Krishna how he was do, thinking of that the what he has actually uh, heard from those uh, sadhu sang when they have come in the ch- chaturmasya in his house uh, he was just actually uh, remembering all those words and all those what the sadhus have told him and for a fraction of a second he just got uh, one realization in his height just for a flash of a second he just got some realization <clears throat> for a fraction of a second, he got the darshan of Bhagwan, and after that, Bhagwan went away. <clears throat> so, after this is not a flash darshan, also, it is not uh, even a fraction of a second darshan, also, is uh, uh, beneficial. So, fraction of a second darshan is also beneficial. And Naraji, after uh, having a darshan. He is a kid. He was just become mad after taking that darshan. And he was saying that, Oh Krishna, you have just came and just gone to give the darshan. And you have just uh, gone back. <laughs> so he has that thing inside his heart that he is getting that anxiety in his heart that, Oh, I want to take your darshan. Why he just become mad after thinking all this. That there is a one feeling of viraha in his, inside his heart. That how I can get the darshan of Krishna. At that point, what happened? There is one uh, Akashwani in the sky. There is one sound coming from the sky, transcendental sound. Krishna speaking in uh, that uh, openly. What he spoke? That uh, there is when there is some kasai, there is some marking inside their heart. It is not yet uh, 
it is not yet cleaned then i can't be the uh, way uh, i can't be the object of darshan for him i can ba- can't be an object of darshan for him how can i become that you have to be very careful about this point what uh, what krishna told Kuyogi means those who are not doing a bhajan under the guidance of Gurudev. Their sampradaya is not an authentic sampradaya. They haven't done bhajan under that and they don't get, get that belief inside their sampradaya. And they have not followed the actual siksha, acharan, other siksha instructions of Gurudev inside their heart. They haven't followed that. And uh, this uh, Naraji, in case of Naraji, there is no Gurudev for him, but by the whatever he has heard from the, whatever he has heard from uh, all the Sadhu Mahatmas, actually uh, the Pad Pradaksha Guru inside his heart, he is actually uh, giving him the uh, way towards uh, Krishna Bhajan. All the Sant Mahatma were uh, uh, giving uh, Aparakrit Harikatha from their lotus mind and but just by hearing that Aparakrit Harikatha, his life is just getting improved. Pakya Pasayana means when there is no Kasai in his life, there is no matter there inside his heart. But there is a red marking of Vishay of matter inside his heart still there present. Very less, some marking is there of that matter. That marking should also be not there inside his heart. There is not a smell, there should not be a smell of matter inside his heart. That's why Bhagwan speaking to Naraji Maharaj <coughs> has given a darshan to for a fraction of a second to him, and when he just vanished from here, from his heart, then uh, Naraji Maharaj just uh, crying very loud. Naraji, actually, I can't speak because he is in the southern sister. That kid was just uh, uh, crying like uh, uh, mad and there is one sound from that um, up, transcendental sound. When his mar- still red mark and still sm- smell of matter was there inside his heart, like a uh, hingur, hing, when you will take in one patra or a camphor, you can take in one pot. Then uh, for a whole year after that, you can see you just throw it. And after that, after six months, you can realize that when you will open that uh, uh, patra, then you will uh, smell it that there is some smell of uh, camphor or uh, hingur is there inside of that. So when that smell is there, but uh, completely it will not vanish from the, that patra or that pot. Similarly, that uh, bhav of uh, matter, is smell of matter is there inside or marking is there inside our heart, then we will not be able to get Bhagavad Darshan. That's why Bhagavan actually in, uh, in the sky, he was actually with the transcendental voice, he is speaking this shloka. That we are not an object of darshan. I can't be the object of darshan for them who have some little marking, little smell of matter inside their heart. <laughs> yog means here bhakti yog, jnan yog, dhyan yog. All these are the uh, terms used for yog. So definitely in the previous janma, Naraji must have got bhakti yog. Definitely. Ku yogi means. Those who haven't uh, followed the pathway given by Sadhguru, they haven't taken the shelter of a Sadhguru, who have not taken the bona fide or authentic Sadhguru's lotus feet, and he has not taken the actual kripa of Shri Krishna, and just by not taking the diksha from uh, the Sadhguru, and by uh, they are those who have not become Siddha by taking the uh, Guru Seva or uh, Guru, uh, Guru Mantra. Like a Krishna Nam they haven't taken from Guru Seva that is called Murchit Kasai so you should have this uh, thinking that now Naraji Maharaj uh, matter is gone from his heart but uh, this 5 year old uh, old kid was there no fear was there inside his heart Prabhupada always used to speak one point that if there is one, if, if no fear is there inside our heart, it means that he is under the uh, uh, shelter of Krishna. Then he will not take any shelter of anyone without Krishna. 
then uh, to become nirvik it's not possible to take the to take the support of any other object apart from krishna you will become weak in your bhajan life how much weak you will become you it will depend uh, on the proportion how much uh, uh, shelter according to the dependence of the matter there is with if there is with the abhinivesh inside your heart it depends how much proportion uh, uh, you have abhinivesh on the other object that percentage it depends on that proportion if then definitely that fear will get inside your heart according to that percentage according to that percentage only because bhayam ishap apadash vivarya asriti tan maya yato avayatam You can understand this point. So this is the point actually. Now one question comes in that uh, in which category Narad Mi Maharaj is. So Narad Mi Maharaj Mar- 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 didn't get the Diksha. But uh, under the guidance of the Sadhu Mahajans when he has just uh, uh, doing the association and uh, doing the Shravan from them about ha- Hari Katha. like the uh, hari shraman of uh, parikshit maharaj uh, so they have uh, just uh, done their uh, diksha kriya because parikshit maharaj diksha kriya already was completed because he is the he is doing the topmost uh, shraman from sukhdev goswami par uh, the <coughs> parikshit maharaj uh, by his uh, shravan kriya already become the disciple of sukhdev goswami par because uh, the vichar of uh, bhagwat ji mahapurani sambandh abhiyan prayojan so there is only vicharo sambandha vidya prayojan in shrimad bhagwat ji mahapuran and if that uh, gyan is uh, completed uh, under the guidance of sambandha vidya prayojan it is there in, inside my heart then my diksha will be incomplete no not at all and uh, now you are giving me diksha a lot of people are giving diksha and uh, after diksha and if that sambandha vidya prayojan is not activated inside our heart then it is very difficult uh, to get uh, to said that you have got actual diksha that is the actual vichar of prabhupada so this uh, this kid naraj ji maharaj ji sadhan se davastha this kid actually mahaprabhu actually speaking uh, every time mahaprabhu is already speaking this point to rai ramanand mahashay he has speak spoken this point a lot to rai ramanand mahashay in rai raman sambad he has uh, speaking this point mahaprabhu to shri rai ramanand that uh, what is sadha sadhan tatva that in depth analysis of sadhya sadhan tatva he has just uh, made the vichar dhara in in front of us so that we, he can teach uh, uh, and as like us that from starting till the end he has just given us the uh, teachings and if we can get the digestion of upadesh amrit and we can get the full kripa of upadesh amrit then raganuga rupanu bhajan can uh, be uh, can get incompleted in our life no it will we will get it in complete form definitely by their kripa if we will digest it it we will definitely get the kripa and uh, who are not following the upadesh amrit and those who are not following the pathway of guru vishnu and they are just following their new pathway then actually they are in the category of u vidya that they will become more worst u vidya pasate they will uh, be going more and more down in their spiritual life their consciousness will drop to a Uh, null level because they have uh, uh, just uh, uh, I will go uh, they they are just uh, thinking that uh, the Gaudiya Math is not complete at all. Uh, you can go to Radha Kund. You can uh, find there is one person came to me three to four months back. He was just crying in front of me. He was just uh, hearing my Hari Katha from somewhere, and uh, he was just crying and just uh, speaking in front of me. and his uh, life was already in darkness he was just crying and tarun prabhu was also there in with me and he was just uh, crying and crying and just uh, found me there in uh, uh, no and all the local persons of the club they were saying that for uh, maharaj can come by 4:30 here most mostly maharaj come by 4:30 he was just uh, standing there from morning till 4 to 5 4 to 5 hours there 
एंड वेन आई केम देयर देन ही जस्ट वॉट हैपन वाई वाई आर यू स्टैंडिंग हेयर देन ही वॉज जस्ट स्टार्टेड क्राइंग एंड महाराज ही स्पीकिंग दैट आई एम एक्चुअली लिविंग इन राधा कुंड आई सोन ओके यू इज लिविंग इन राधा कुंड ओके सो आई हैव जस्ट मेड वन स्मॉल कुटी कुटीर देयर भजन कुटीर देयर एंड आई वॉज जस्ट लाफिंग and in between i am just going i am going to mp as well in mp there are lot of bangladeshi people and uh, they are uh, lot days before lot of days before they have uh, given some accommodation there i have my bhajan kutir there as well so then he said that okay you have got bhajan kutir there well, and in radha kund also you are getting because i am not getting any money there in radha kund that's why i have to go there so what is the reason for why you have come to me then he said that i have just gone to the uh, different pathway of the bhajan because i am just taking the name of bhajan and i am living in radha kund my uh, chacha is uh, just uh, uh, sahajia and they are just uh, blaming me and he said that uh, when you will go to godamadi you will go to hell you go, get lost from here you don't come to us he was just uh, using foul foul language i have just taking the shelter of godamadi Uh, who, who has taken the who he has taken shelter in godima it's not a big thing then i told that god chacha ji told me that uh, you will uh, definitely they godima don't have the siddh pranali they don't have raganu group anu bhajan they are actually all fallen and they are always in this material world they don't have anything you just uh, quit everything and come to us then he uh, come to me and said then that it is not the fault of your chacha i told him that uh, the persons who with the what they are uh, getting from the other people okay let them speak what they want to so the first step that to quit the relationship with your uh, chacha you need to cut your relation you need to cut your relation with your chacha don't even see his face also that is your first step towards your bhajan second step is bhakti sena saraswati goswami thakur with what he has told you have to follow that in toto that is why ariga tha you have to hear it whether you are getting some uh, uh, problem in that but similarly slowly steadily you will get digest you have to digest it there is no other way apart from that you have to follow bhakti san saraswati thakur prabhu and when uh, i will just uh, meet you again then i will tell you about the actual bhajan uh, now about the bhajan what the guru varg have told us i am just going according to that i don't want to tell you the negative pathway if uh, you just uh, go on hearing this and uh, slowly steadily by 3 o'clock in the morning you have to go uh, slowly steadily whatever preliminary things i will tell you i will definitely tell you so this is the condition now. so every person raganuga bhajan rupanu bhajan in the in that problem only they are just taking the ashray of radha kund and they are just making uh, the new pathway of their death because radha kund not a uh, normal place even bhakti sena saraswati goswami thakur ji path if you don't believe this point that i can always all and tell you this point that proper speaking that i can't stay in radha kund this is a very topmost place only my guru var bhakti no thakur and uh, gaur kishor das baba ji maharaj can stay there in radha kund but i can't stay there so that i should uh, uh, take the aj- ashray of uh, ragunath das goswami and govardhan ji maharaj i can stay very far behind from radha kund i can't stay i can't be, uh, i can't speak that i can i am staying in radha kund i am doing bhajan there that is actually false ego if i'll speak like this so where is radha kund i can't imagine that prabhupad speaking the 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 darshan the remembrance of uh, radha kund is very far distant for me and we are just thinking we are doing raga nu garupa nu bhajan in radha kund so this is with ati vidya that is more worse than more worse than avidya in the upanishad also it is written it is more worse than they even go more deep into hell who are they they will go more than the avidya though those who are taking ati vidya because they are not following the pure guru vaishnav they are not following the shrot pantha of the guru vaishnav their condition will become more and more worst i will just talk about this in the next hari katha so murchit kasai actually murchit kasai this actually this is murchit kasai and vidhot kasai means murchit kasai means that that there is some uh, smell of kama there inside 
सम मार्किंग इज देयर इन साइड द हार्ट बट इट हैज नो रिएक्शन ऑन दैट पर्सन दैट दिस मुर्शिद कसाई दिस इन द लाइफ ऑफ द साधक इट विल नॉट क्रिएट एनी प्रॉब्लम इन द लाइफ ऑफ अ साधक इस कंडीशन ई कांट ही विल नॉट गेट दैट रिएक्शन इन साइड इज हार्ट दिस मुर्शिद इज ऑल्सो सिद्ध वाई बिकॉज इन मूर्छित अवस्था लाइक आई एल जस्ट गिव यू वन एग्जाम्पल वन वन स्नेक इज देयर आई हैव जस्ट सीन दिस विद माई नेकेड आईज ऑल्सो विद माई एक्सपीरियंस आई एम जस्ट स्पीकिंग यू वन दिस पॉइंट दैट आई हैव सीन एंड वेन आई गोइंग टू दायजू मजी वेयर राउजी महाराज हैज डन रॉ रास लीला दैट इज इन ओबेगा एचा दाऊजी नियर द यमुना एंड द समर सीजन आ i was just seeing the, the light of the moon from upstairs and i was just doing my under one or two see the sadhu were there and they were just doing parikrama with me and bhag mahina i think so it was end of bhag mahina only uh, ashwin mahina was just going to start there is lot of enjoyment transcendental enjoyment it is just like a dream everything uh, around braj mandal i have seen there i have saw one big snake from the from the tree and it just fall down on the ground i have just seen that very big snake and he was just in a, a drowsy condition and if you can touch him still it is very dangerous but it is he is in the drowsiness condition when his drowsiness just gone then who has just uh, sprinkle some water on that snake then he slowly steadily that snake went away so that achadauji vigrah which has come out from the yamuna i have already told that in the parikrama khand when i will just uh, discuss the parikrama prakrit braj mandal parikrama i will just tell you about it is just came out from the yamuna when it came in that vigrah came in the dream of a brahman dauji ka wo so dauji that achadauji i have already done the archan of that achadau ji one sadhu told me that you are staying here so you can do the archan of you just can offer some bhoga i am going to thura okay i can uh, do the vigra i am very very much lucky to serve uh, the baldav ji maharaj so this service actually krishna given me i am very very uh, uh, lucky so from the very distant place if i can uh, watch that is uh, my top most luck so i am just uh, kissing him i am just take uh, giving him bath and everything bhoga everything so lucky i am so i am very much lucky to do such kind of seva but still i am thinking that i have not done anything yet, up till now now under in front of daudji maharaj <coughs> that uh, there is one corridor in front of it is not a natya mandir but it is just open so all the snakes are just uh, going to uh, fall when they got in the drowsiness condition they just went away so this is a very uh, good example from which we can understand one thing that jeev goswami pad is speaking to us that murchit kasai is like what it is like murchit kasai is like it is kasai only but there is some uh, marking some smell of kama is there but still it is there in the but there is no reaction in the life of that mahatma like uh, a snake which is very uh, poisonous but he has just uh, you can uh, just uh, take him who can catch his tail but that snake cannot do anything because the s- uh, snake is in the drowsy- drowsiness condition so our guru work has given this example to us that there is there that kama is there but it is uh, equal to it is not it is not there there is it is almost in the null condition you cannot understand that it is there inside in the hidden condition it is not giving any reaction in the life of a sadhak like prabodhana saraswati pad shloka i have already spoken i have already spoken you can remember this shloka that there is one poisonous snake uh, all the uh, the teeth of that poisonous snake are thrown away and then if you can just play with that snake and you can enjoy with the snake but that snake couldn't do anything because his poisonous snake are poisonous teeth are already out so i have already spoken this point to you you have just taken out all the poisonous teeth from that snake and the enjoy you can enjoy with them and the actual poison from the mouth of the snake is gone now you can enjoy and play with that snake so no worries no nothing can be done this is prabodhana saraswati pad speaking 
So in the same way, you have to carefully be attentive about this uh, Siddhant Vichar, what I am talking about. There is some smell, there is some marking. Jeev Goswami Pad is just giving uh, a direct evidence about this. That is Vishuddh Bhakt who is in Murchit Kasai. Because in his life, whatever uh, Kasai is there inside his heart, it is not giving any reaction inside his heart. There is no reaction of Maya inside his heart. That is Siddha Mahatma. That actually we are just uh, giving uh, about this uh, this Siddhant Vichar uh, Jeev Goswami Pad under the Anugatya of Jeev Goswami Pad. This uh, Murchit Kasai means there is some uh, Kama there inside the heart in hidden form. That Kama can't do anything. That is uh, equal to the drowsy, drow- drowsiness state. That is why in the Raj Panchadhyay, in the last look of that, Raj Panchadhyay, it is applicable for them. For normal persons who are bonded uh, in the bonded condition, they can't say, they are speaking of Maharaj, what we can speak. All the foreigners, they are for all the foreigners are crying in front of me that what kind of painful life they have. If I will give you one letter in front of you, you will just start crying. From Colombia, there is one person who has written one uh, letter to me. His, his uh, age is not uh, that uh, much. And his life is like uh, dogs and cat from the beginning. And when I read that letter, I was just got mad. Oh, so this kind of life is uh, going on. And if I will give you that letter, uh, you will just uh, start crying and you will got mad. Oh, what he has written. Oh, please don't, don't uh, throw me. I am under your guidance, under your lotus feet. You please protect me, Maharaj. From uh, beginning, all uh, sexual training are given to me and all dirty, elite things are just given to me. I am just like a dog and cat. My life is like that. There is one Maharaj. I just uh, met him and uh, I have just uh, taken the guidance of the Gaudiyam at Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur and Gaurang Mahaprabhu. And after that, I can understand that Maharaj there are a lot of scandal in the way of that Maharaj only. But I have to get rid of that Maharaj also. And now I am living in Canada. And my uh, my body is from Colombia. And uh, I am just making uh, my own uh, living. I have one uh, uh, child and one wife. And when you will understand his whole life, you will become mad. There is one uh, Ma- Mataji. From Brazil, like a Mahabharat, if I will tell you about what has happened in his life, you can't even imagine. You will become mad, you will go mad. If uh, then after that she can uh, understand the Harikatha and she is just now hearing Harikatha as well. Now he is get, she is getting something positive. Now I am thinking that uh, there is no kind of distress or unhappiness in my life. If I can do some comparative statement, then there is no distress and happiness in my life. There is only life is that my no bhajan is there in my life. I can't do any bhajan, can't do any seva. And Murchit Kasai means uh, nothing, uh, no reaction can be there. You can understand this point. Prabodhana Saraswati Pas is giving this example that if in the life of the sadhak, if there is one some smell of marking, some of uh, calm because it is from infinity period coming on. That I am not talking about Nitya Siddh Mahatma, I am just uh, talking about Sadhan Siddh Mahatma. Nitya Siddh is al- already Nitya Siddh, he is eternally Nitya. We, what we can discuss about him? Those who are Sadhan Siddh, those, okay, he is Siddh, but still there is some uh, uh, smell of karma, some, some negative situation some dirty situation he has went from there is lot of garbage but still there is no reaction inside his heart that uh, the no reaction can be there if some mataji and some something came so very <laughs> dirty woman if can come in front of him if she can do in front of us nothing can she can do because he is in siddhavastha that's why if there is some kasai uh, in the form of karma inside his heart still that uh, karma in his heart 
इन श्रीमद भागवत जी महापुराण राज पंचोध्याय लास्ट श्लोक का इट इज रिटर्न देयर दैट इज एप्लीकेबल फॉर दैट साधक बट फॉर दैट मार्केट दोज हु आर वेरी चीपर इन द मार्केट दोज आचार्य लोग आचार्य पर्सन दे आर जस्ट स्पीकिंग इन सो मच फॉल्स सीगोज दे हैव दे आर जस्ट राइटिंग इट इन हरी कथा दे आर हैविंग दैट वॉइस रिकॉर्डिंग हरी कथा दे हैव रिटर्न दिस ऑल्सो दैट दैट्स नॉट अ बिग मैटर यू कैन इफ दिस इज अ साक्षात प्रमाण डायरेक्ट एविडेंस आई हैव दैट रिकॉर्डिंग विद मी आई वॉज वेरी मच सरप्राइज हिज गुरुदेव ऑल्सो नॉट स्पीकिंग लाइक दिस बट स्टिल दिस इज कॉल्ड अति विद्या हिज सिचुएशन इज मोर वर्स्ट वेयर देयर इज दैट एविडेंस जीव को स्वामी पाद है स्पोकन अबाउट मूर्छित कसाय इफ देयर इज सम सम स्मेल ऑफ काम एंड मूर्छित इन अर्थ मूर्छित वस्ता नो रिएक्शन ऑन हिम मूर्छित को साय देर इज सम काइंड ऑफ स्मेल ऑफ कामा ही कैन जस्ट कट इट ऑफ इट इज देयर इन द रांच रास पंचाध्याय इन द भाग इफ ही इज भगवत सिद्ध ऑल्सो He is still a siddha mahatma. If he has some smell of karma in his heart, still he he will uh, just uh, he will just uh, hear that ras panchadya last logs. Everything will get cut off that karma from his heart. Achirena means not before not before long. before before his time everything will get uh, finished from his life so in this condition of murchit kasai there is no reaction he is already siddh in siddh avastha okay now the second one is dhout kasai then where by doing bhajan slowly steadily everything will get vanquished i am just uh, why i am speaking all this those who are actually sadhan siddh for them i am already speaking of that sadhan siddh nitya siddh i can't speak anything they have already come from nitya jagat dhout kasai means slowly steadily when they are doing bhajan and when all the kasai all the smell of kama is just vanquished is being that is removed like the and like the topic of bilva mangal thakur i am very much fear to hear the share the topic of bilba mangal thakur because lot of sahajya people can uh, compare their life uh, uh, can compare their life with bilba mangal thakur the example of bilba mangal thakur lot of sahajyas are there who just want to uh, just want to compare their uh, dirty uh, life with bilba mangal thakur but i when i was just discussing jeeva tatva the i told that bilva mangal thakur is not same with all those foolish prakrit sahajyas bilva mangal thakur the topic of bilva mangal thakur is totally different there is a hatane ka koshish kar raha hai he just want to get rid of that condition then you can understand that slowly and steadily he is getting out of that kama and by the kripa of bhagwan he has just got out of that so this dhot kasai is the second one bilva mangal thakur already speaking uh, bilva mangal thakur is dhot kasai he is in the category but but when he got the kripa of krishna then he just get out of that entanglement then he be and then the third condition prabhupad is already coming from the nitya jagat eternal world bhakti vinod thakur they are not sadhan sid actually they are just uh, making the uh, the sadhan practice they are just uh, giving us the pathway how to do sadhan all the koti naam yag uh, prabhupad and bhakti vinod thakur doing bhakti vinod thakur has uh, already done koti naam yag how to do how to do naam smaran how he has got into the in depth of naam bhajan so all these kind of uh, uh, the pathway they have shown for that bhajan actual bhajan it is only for our uh, shiksha only for our knowledge 
दे आर ऑल नित्य भागवत पार्षद ऑफ भगवान दे आर नॉट लाइक दे आर दस दे आर जस्ट बिकेम सिद्ध इन दिस भजन दे आर ऑलरेडी सिद्ध नित्य सिद्ध सो दे आर इट इज रिटर्न दैट दैट प्राप्त भगवत पार्षद इज द थर्ड कैटेगरी दोज हु हैव ऑलरेडी गॉट दैट पार्षद दे स्लोली एंड स्टेडली बाय दिस बाय डूइंग भजन एंड दे हैव जस्ट वेंट टू द नित्य धाम ऑफ भगवान मूर्चित क्राइस आई हैव ऑलरेडी टोल्ड दैट इफ देयर इज सम स्मेल ऑफ कामा स्टिल देयर इन हिज देयर इज सम रिफ्लेक्शन ऑफ माया इनसाइड हिज हार्ट बट स्टिल इट हैज नो रिएक्शन इनसाइड द हार्ट बट इट इज नॉट एक्टिव एट ऑल दे इज नॉट क्रियाशील अधोत धौत कसाई मीन्स स्लोली स्लैंडली बाय डूइंग भजन एवरीथिंग इज वैंक्विस्ट दैट कसाई स्मेल ऑफ कामा इज ऑलरेडी गॉन लाइक नरोत्तम दास ठाकुर ऑलरेडी स्पोकन इन कीर्तन Or you can understand this point. No, this kirtan you just uh, bring in front of yourself, and then you can uh, you can just get the meaning of this kirtan. When when all that kan ka all beautiful ladies etc kanchan kamini pratishtha stays in front of me but they don't have any reaction me, on me why why how it can be possible when when uh, they can't can't have any uh, uh, reaction on uh, can't throw any reaction on me how it is possible nitanand prabhu narottam das thakur just uh, praying to nitanand prabhu's lotus feet that uh, when the, i will get the total mercy of nitanand prabhu when the total material desire inside my heart smell of whatever desire related to the material world is will become all next to nothing like distastefulness will come in that when I'll, when i'll get distastefulness in this material world enjoyment They already written there. This uh, this is actually vidhoto kasai. And the first stage, sansaran vasana kachit. Which means there is some visha is there. So that is a murchit kasai. This condition is murchit kasai. So that's why some uh, some detestfulness bhav is coming inside. Why it is there inside my heart? So the first step is called murchit kasai. It is compared with murchit kasai. That is good. This point actually is the touch means some smell of kama is there, but it is very it is dirty, no use. And the second line is. this line that all the vishaya has gone from our body some aprakrit vishaya is there but there is no material vishaya inside our heart material matter is not there but aprakrit matter transcendental matter is there inside our that is called vidhut kasha shri vrindavan is kabe ham herav shri vrindavan that is kabe ham shri vrindavan this third one is ye hai prapto bhagavat that is called prapto bhagavat parshad de because we can only get the vrindavan seva and the prakrit braj seva everything it is all in siddh attainable in siddh avastha so three different kind of categories already discussed in narottam das thakur kirtan you can understand because if you will not go to vrindavan then how you can get the darshan of vrindavan you have to go to that aprakrit vrindavan where all gor kishor baba all they are nitya siddh actually Amshidas Baba Ji, man, they are just sitting and they are uh, taking dham darshan because they already stay in dham. Like I have given one example, uh, six to eight months back in the article, I have just uh, uh, about Bhagwan Das Baba Ji, man, in the common in the Kamna uh, Bhajan Kutir, and there is one person just came to take the darshan of Baba Ji Maharaj, and there was that. Uh, 
one person has just uh, given him the uh, guidance that you should go to Bhagwan Das Babaji Ma to take his darshan. He is his friend. He has just seen when he just went to Bhagwan Das Babaji Maharaj. He is seeing that Bhagwan Das Babaji Maharaj with his stick. Uh, he was just hey, go go go. He just go away from. Uh, he was just. Uh, uh went from that place and then he went to his friend and said that i was just going to maharaj but bhagwan das baba ji with his stick he just said that you go 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 away. okay and that friend actually he went uh, with that person to baba ji maharaj there is one person came for your uh, lotus feet then why you have just uh, shown him the stick and uh, he just go then bhagwan bhagwan baba ji maharaj speaking go oh, oh, actually that stick actually i was in vrindavan in govind mandir in govind mane there was one uh, cattle there he was just uh, taking uh, the tulsi leaves from the tree so that's why i'm just showing that stick to him in kalna he was staying there but he is having that aprakrit darshan of vrindavan govind mandir he was just showing it that stick to uh, that cattle who is just uh, uh, just uh, taking the uh, tulsi leaves he was just uh, in the garden of tulsi you look the darshan of the siddh mahatma so he is already already taking darshan of the vrindavan so he is actually in siddha vasta already i have given the uh, three distinctive categories i have explained it bhagavat parshad it is already uh, for siddha mahatma uh, bhagwan das baba ji maharaj is siddha mahatma only but the those who are sadhan siddha vasta they have to stay in vrindavan have to do seva vrindavan everything uh, should be related with vrindavan because they are not bhagavat parshad they because without taking the uh, parshad they can they get a place in vrindavan no it's not possible so that is the actual vichar which we are discussing here so there are lot of vichar which we have to discuss so uh, i can't explain the the upadesham shloka like uh, uh, on the new pathway so that's why i am slowly steadily i am just uh, making the effort so that you can understand Uh, what is actually bhakti what is actually upadesh amrit so uh, in this way all these three categories of uh, this uh, siddha vasta what jeev goswami pad have already discussed that uh, that prapt bhagavat parshad deha those who are uh, already in the nitya siddha vasta now and they have got that uh, uh, got the sadhan siddha vasta already and they have just left this uh, material body they have uh, just already got the swarup siddhi and now they are just uh, going towards the vastu siddhi moving towards vastu siddhi they after leaving body they have just attained that actual vastu those who who after leaving this body they have just uh, got into the bhagavat lok and they have got their transcendental bodies and they are just uh, enjoying that uh, full kripa of bhagwan and for that i have already shown it through priti sandarbh this example that how you can uh, get into bhagwat dharm there is uh, one uh, enlightened murti uh, one and uh, each and uh, every person in that uh, jyotirmay dham and there are chinmay murtis transcendental murtis and when that person is, is uh, just moving to vaikunth uh, jagat to that golok jagat then uh, slowly steadily they will according to their rasa according to their behavior they are getting that uh, uh, jeevatma is getting the swarup so according to their bhav they are according to the bhajan siddhi they are getting uh, that uh, murti and they are just uh, getting uh, the nitya seva of radha govin so lot of time will go while discussing it so we will discuss it later so so in the nitya jagat he will get the bhagavat parshad deha and he will can he can do the nitya bhagavat seva and i have already described it previously as well that uh, first and second first and second uh, uh, category of bhakt the uh, first category of bhakt uh, the second category of uh, bhakt murchit kasai and dhut kasai they these bhakt actually they under the association of sadhu sang they can attain shuddha bhakti just be careful be attentive about this point that the murchit kasai the first category 
and the dhot kasa the second category both these having the uh, can get uh, both the category of sadhu which are there in this material world by them shuddha bhakti can in the bonded soul uh, shuddha bhakti can get inside the heart of a bonded soul easily this murchit kasai and uh, vidhaut kasai these two categories of sadhu by them actually in this material world a bonded a soul can get the shuddha bhakti inside their heart they can get that so you can understand this point because they are already in siddha condition and the paramans avastha if they externally they can show that they are already doing their own bhajan and they will go away they will not show like the case of bamshi bas baba ji mara their activities his activities cannot be understood by a normal person he can he can he and uh, uh, can he uh, teach the bonded soul you have to bath like this you have to do achman like this he knows nothing will be done so that's why acharya is very important like or kishor das baba ji maharaj he is there is in the paramhans stage but still he is uh, at the stay at the seat of acharya varja why because in the stage of paramhans also just to give shiksha to that uh, jagat vasi all the bonded soul he was just uh, speaking about uh, the absolute bhagavat tatva uh, always he just uh, used to speak all the bhagavat tatva sadhan tatva in front of those bonded soul so that they can get some benefit in their life so apart from baba ji maharaj gorkhshwar baba we can't find any anyone from anyone that uh, this kind of bhava is uh, being exhibited by any any, any other siddh bhava he used to speak all uh, foul words and he was just doing the work of an acharya and under the asan of an acharya he was just uh, what is right and what is wrong for the whole world he was already uh, giving uh, the upadesh uh, upadesh amrit what the rup goswami has written he is giving the extended form of uh, bhak- what bhakti mr thakur and prabhupad has written uh, gaur kishor das baba ji always used to uh, give it to the bonded souls and bhakti mr thakur also in his in his book in his commentary bhakti vinod bhani bhavav in his book he has written and prabhupad in his upadesh amrit on commentary on that whatever prabhupad uh, has given the upadesh he has already followed that and uh, bhagavat our bhakti bhagavat maharaj is also giving the commentary of prabhupad and what the upadesh amrit uh, we are just uh, speaking that is the extended form of that upadesh amrit of shila rup goswami pad what he has written so that is extended form of rup goswami pad upadesh amrit chalo chalo koi baat nahi kal hum charcha karenge is visay par uska baad kartik mahina ka shuruaat mein hum shuru kar denge and in the kartik month we will just discuss it that what is the actual vichar of rup goswami pad that by following it we can understand that uh, we can go to that extreme condition of uh, gopi prema is very easily so that is the actual upadesh this is not a matter of joke like our gurudev always used to speak it means that uh, the honestic there is one nail on a stick there is one nail there is one wooden stick there is one nail and we are just uh, uh, picking it inside the wood by the by the, the nail is going inside the wall so it is not the siddhant vichar is not like that Is that we like uh, we will just uh, uh, putting the nail inside the wall with the help of a, a hammer. So it is very difficult to understand. So the first category, Murchit ka sahi, they are already said, but the second category, the Dvitya category, Dhyot ka sahi, those those all the these two categories of Mahatma, they can uh, just uh, transfer Shuddha Bhakti inside the heart of the bonded soul very easily. by the pravachan by their aacharan all those bonded soul can get that shuddha bhakti inside their heart so it is it has a lot of importance in the contribution in the preaching preaching field and uh, uh, tomorrow i will just uh, uh, discuss about this uh, so i will just give uh, uh, today i will just stop the katha here only because i don't have time so the top most thing is that uh, 
नही अतः परम लाभ हो ते ही नाम भ्रमता हो यतो विंदे तो परमाम शांति नशती संसद बांचा कल पुत्रों से के पास इन दो बच्चा पति तानन पावन भ्यो विष्णु भ्यो नमो